and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So on today's video, I'm gonna go through my uh, wallet planner. So this is what goes inside my purse. It carries my cards, any gift cards that I have, insurance cards, any loose change uh, or cash, and everything else in between. So before I actually open it up, Recently, you guys noticed if you watched my financial videos, I did decide to go back to a cashless envelope system just because of what's continually still going on with COVID and in the state of Florida, just decided to be a little bit on the safe side. So I am not using my cash envelopes for the time being. I do, however, have my virtual cash envelopes, which I keep account of in an app on my phone called I believe um, good envelopes or good budgets somewhere along those lines and then I also keep track of my sinking funds through Capital One 360. So in this planner so before I actually open it this is one of the Moterm pockets this was I believe one of like the newer uh, one of the older models it's not the new ones that they decided to come out with now so this is more of a red outside with a little bit of a lighter pink type of thing on the inside now it does have the big back pocket which is always amazing because I actually keep my cash back there and then it has the strap which is a decent sized strap here so I don't obviously keep this chunky because I do believe that these are 19 millimeter rings. So obviously not much can actually be added in here. But again, since it is my wallet, I do not want it weighing my purse down since it is always with me. So I love the size of this just because it does fit easily into my regular um, Henry Bendel backpack, but it also does slide in perfectly to any shoulder or cross bodies that I wear for going out somewhat on the smaller side. So opening it up here, I don't have a lot of deco going on in the pockets, obviously, because the pocket configuration here does not really allow for it. So I do have an Ollie clip here and it kind of clips in my um, insurance cards that are here. So it kind of keeps them here from falling out. In here is where I would keep any of my change. So obviously right now I don't have any change. So if I need to in the future, I can add them there or I can put stamps, whatever I need to. Um, I do just have a regular uh, PaperMate Inkjoy pen. This is the 0.7. Just because since this is such a big pen loop and it's funny because you never hear someone complaining about how big their pen loop is. Most people complain about how small it is. So since it is a big pen loop, every other pen would fall right out or stick out on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you, um, take for instance, the pen that I keep in my Stalogy. So this, it's a small pen here. If I were to put this one in, it slides in and out and it kind of goes everywhere. So the only way I could keep it from falling out would be to clip it here and then it sticks out this ridiculous amount down at the bottom. So. It's okay because I don't mind this pen. I do love how it writes. I do, however, want to get a 0.5 PaperMate pen instead of the 0.7, just to be a little bit more of a finer tip. So this is about a medium tip where I want the fine one for 0.5. So in my back pocket here, I do have some cash as well as my two pockets that I made, one for receipts and one for coupons. So I keep my coupons in here for on the go because I do always forget them. And then any receipts here that I would have, I would put in here for me to scan on my rewards apps and then toss after that. I do also keep the receipts to make sure that I take that amount out of my envelope system on my phone. So it does come with the fly leaf here. Um, I do love it just because it holds my driver's license as well as my two most frequently used cards. I do have a year at a glance here and this is from Annie Plans. It is from the Lux collab that she did with a couple other shops and I just kind of use it as a reference for what days or what and I went ahead and laminated this to make sure that it is extremely durable. 
So on the back of that, I did put a hand lettering from CME Draw. This came in one of the orders that I did from her and it's just so beautiful how she hand lettered my name. I love it because <laughs> I can never get it there. This is a dashboard from Cat Espresso Co. It is the pocket plus size. So that's the other thing. All of the inserts and dividers in here are pocket plus because even though it is a pocket planner, I cannot write for the love of me on that tiny little sheet of pocket. I can't. So I love these pocket plus ones. They're just slightly bigger and it just gives you the right, around, right amount of room for a pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this dashboard, I do have a couple things. So I have these two die cuts from the style planner. So this one is a planner girl uh, die cut and then the hot cocoa gray in the background. This Libra die cut is from Virgo and Paper, and then this is a giant sticker from a, um, oh goodness, I can't remember her shop, but I'll tag it down below. It's from one of those packs at Michael's, uh, Shine, sticker, Shine Sticker Studio, there we go. Um, and then this is a paper clip from 1407 Planners, love it. And then on the back, I have a planner cart from um, Sweet Bean Plans and then the, uh, goodness gracious, the Thanos glove from Seeing Me Draw. The paper that you see in the back was a freebie from the planner spot. So it's just a little bit here just to kind of give a little background there. So the first divider that I go into is my important section. So this section I typically only use to be able to add anything that I need to into my main planner. So this is kind of like the inbox of my, my pocket or my wallet. So anything that I need to either add into my main planner like an appointment that I need to add or a task that I need to do for the month, something I need to get done during the day that'll be at home, all that stuff kind of goes right in here. So these dividers are from Martha Plans on Etsy and I had two sets. So when I reconfigured my um, wallet planner, I went ahead and mixed and matched and it came out perfect because I mixed and matched the different sections that I wanted. So I had two of this kind of white sparkle, um, paper or vinyl and then this hollow one as well. So all of those are from Martha Plans on Etsy and they're just such great quality. And it was great because when I ordered them, she didn't have Pocket Plus in size, in the sizes that she offered, but I went ahead and sent her a message and all she really asked for were the dimensions that I needed it to be. And she got that perfectly done for me and I am so grateful for that. So this is just a dashboard from one of the past Happy Scrappy kits and then as well as the matching paper. So you see this is just random dot grid note paper that I keep in here and then as well as some of this note paper from one of the printables from Annie Plans. So my next section is my monthly. See here that beautiful hollow foil. Love it. So I just have this from, it is actually the backing of one of the happy scrappy things. I think it was the adhesive pockets and I just love the bow backing of the actual like packaging. So I cut that down to size and put that there. This is my monthly. It's just kind of a month at a glance for me just in case I have any appointments, birthdays, anything going on. This is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. in her Facebook group. So I went ahead and just added washi to the top of all of these and then added in some stickers from a Happy Planner or Me and My Big Ideas uh, sticker book. So she does not have Pocket Plus in this. So what I did is I downloaded her A6 version and I shrunk it down to 86% and it fits absolutely perfectly. So you see, I just had that for all the previous months. And then this is this month, so I have this. This is actually a freebie that came in my order from Martha Plan, so I actually have, I, I honestly have three of these. 
because I've ordered three different sets of dividers from her. That's how much I love her shop. I've ordered three different sets. So I just cut down, um, I cut slits in the holes to be able to remove it any time that I needed to. I added in this kind of um, today paper just in case I have one of those busy days that I need to do a little bit of extra things outside of the house without having to lug around my bigger everyday carry. So again, this is just this month here. And then I have all the way until the end of the year and then it has a little notes page at the back. This is a freebie that came with one of my, um, I think it's Once More With Love. Wow, I hope so. It's one of those shops and I can't remember, but it was just a freebie in one of the orders that she had here and I just love how my name is hand lettered. My next section is my notes section. This is just some paper from one of the Happy Scrappy kits that she did for the um, Sanrio, and I just love it, so cute. And then I have these little bookmarks that just show me where I am in my notes. So if I need to look for a new page, I can kind of just flip right to it and it's right there. This was from a couple of like monthly sheets from a, happy planner that I had. I just love the design of that one in here. So I kind of just put them together, laminated them, and then made some holes as well. So in my notes section, I just keep the non-important things that don't need to go in an inbox. So it's just things that I have to remember later on. Like this past week, I changed my tires. So when I update my vehicle maintenance in my everyday carry, I can add in that I did get my tires changed in July. So again, this is just some notes paper. It's from that same um, Annie Plans printable from my inbox. And then my next section is my list section. So this is where I kind of do my grocery list that I transfer for my everyday carry because as the week goes on, I start adding more and more into my grocery guide for my everyday carry. And then this is where I'll kind of just move everything over so it's quick for me to grab and go. So this is a freebie from Kat Espresso Co. when I did order the uh, dashboards from her, from them. And then this is a freebie from Papershire. I printed it on sticker paper and just stuck it to the back. This is just another one of those bookmarks. And then this was my grocery list from today. This is just some of that paper from one of the Happy Scrappy kits. Just have a couple of those in there. This is another one of those freebies and I love it. Love just the moons and everything. And then I have this sticker here and then one of those bigger stickers from See Amy Draw. So before I go ahead and do this, let me kind of, give me one second. Just I forgot to cover my debit cards that are on the next thing. All right, so this is another one of those Pocket Plus um, dashboards from Cat's Espresso Co. So I have another freebie from the Planner Spot, which is one of those plan a life you love. And then I put a picture of my boyfriend and I down at the bottom. And then on the back, I have an assortment of die cuts. So this one is from Fox and Pip. This is from Primrose Corner. So is this one. There is a flower from Bunny Plans. And then another printable from a freebie from Paper Shire. I kind of just printed on regular paper and then cut around as good as I could, as well as I could. So the next part is just my extra debit card. So not the cards that I use as often, like the ones that are here, but these are my debit cards if I need to stop by the bank. And then this is one of those po uh, card pockets from Filofax. I got this from Amazon. And then this is just another one of those dashboards down at the bottom. I have some cash in the back because this is for my daughter's birthday for my parents. So I didn't wanna mix that together with mine. And then I just have my gift cards kind of here and I don't believe there was anything else. Yeah, there was nothing else put in the back. But yeah, so that is pretty much my wallet planner. So I do use it on the go if I need to write anything down and I don't have my main planner with me. So yeah, that is it. 
If you guys have any questions about it, where anything's from, if I didn't mention it, or if you kind of missed it, just go ahead and drop it down in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!